Hey, good morning, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my blog, sfsupport247.com. Today, we are going to discuss about Dataverse, the backbone of secure and scalable power platform solutions. The key features are Dataverse provides automatic backups. So, Dataverse creates daily backups of your data automatically. No need as a developer or administrator or a user, you need to take care of the database backups. Dataverse automatically takes the daily backups and the retention period is seven days in the sandbox and production environments. Manual backups are also available for administrators can trigger manual backups at any time. Retention period configurable by the admin up to 28 days in some plans. Geo redundancy. Geo means geography. It can be uh, North America, South America, Asia, or any place. Diverse, Dataverse replicates data across multiple Microsoft Azure regions. As uh, you know, Dataverse is hosted on the Azure, which is across uh, uh, you know different continents. So it is replicated. That is one of the reasons is Dataverse is a disaster recovery mechanisms it provides at the enterprise grade level. And restore capabilities. Assume that you can restore your environment from any backups through the Power Platform Admin Center. So Power Platform Admin Center is the way that uh, you can interact for the data backups and restore mechanisms. Disaster recovery plan. Data what supports automatic failover between regions. Recovery point. This RPO, these are RPO and RTO are terms is extensively used in the disaster recovery plan. So if you want to configure your dataverse or your power platform applications, you can use this. The best practice is schedule a regular manual backup before making a significant change to the deployment. Test the restore process, review the and configure. Scalability wise, Dataverse is designed to scale dynamically, accommodating the needs. Row volume supports up to 500 million rows per table and depending on allocated capacity. So, from the admin center, power platform admin center, you can configure and allocate the capacity for this row volume. Storage capacity. Scales as additional storage is purchased. Storage type, dataverse, text numbers and files and log audit files, all these things. API call limits. Default limit is 25,000 APIs per day. Really, this is based on the application, but can be scaled with additional capacity. We can configure in the Power Platform Admin Center. If uh, your application or dataverse wants to get a million or uh, 5 million uh, API calls per day, we can adjust that and we can buy that capacity. Concurrency management supports high concurrency usage, scaling resources dynamically, integrations, enables efficient integration. Optimization te technique, design normalized data models to reduce redundancy and improve quality. Use delegation in Canvas app to handle target data sets effectively. Regularly monitor dataverse capacity reports. This is one of the important things. So you can put alerts also for the dataverse uh, capacity reports in case if it crosses 80 or 90% threshold, you can uh, automatically allocate given this is dataverse is on the Azure platform. And security wise, dataverse ensure robust security features. Role-based security is available. Define user roles with permissions at table and row and field levels also. Enforce least privileged access to secure sensitive data. Field level security is also available. Restrict access to specific fields, personal details, PII, PCI, all those things uh, you can handle using the field level security. Data encryption. All data is encrypted at rest means when it is saved to the uh, Dataverse database and transit using Microsoft Managed Keys. So, uh, transit means when data is going from your uh, uh, application to the dataverse, that is also encrypted. And additional, uh, bring your own BYOK supports available for higher control. Environment isolation, each environment production sandbox dev is isolated to its own uh, data and resources. Environments cannot access data from each other. So, this will be compartmentalized. Auditing, 
enables uh, tracking of uh, uh, CRUD operation access, all those things, it can be auditable easily. Auditing can be enabled at the table and field level also. Compliance standards that our supports HIPAA and ISO standards, you know, and compliance information available at Microsoft Trust Center. If you need more details, feel free to go there or, uh, you know, drop a comment. We can take it from there. Authentication and authorization, Azure AD. Now it's called Microsoft Entra. We can use uh, Azure AD credentials or Microsoft Entra credentials to limit the access. IP whitelisting. We can restrict access to the specific range uh, and best practices for security. Enable field level security audit. This is the very important thing. Audit critical table, lever leverage Azure AD, that is a Microsoft Entra features, restrict environments, regular, regular compliance audits are very much required. So this uh, wraps up. That awards uh, why that is the backbone and very secure and scalable power platform solution because we can main manage this uh, data verse uh, administration using power platform admin center thanks for tuning in bye for now